Hi there guys, I hope you had a good Christmas. Uh, I will wish you all the best for a new year. Uh, over the Christmas period I've been trying to finally finish off my legendary weapon that I've been trying to create in Guild Wars 2 for around a year and a half. Uh, there was four parts to it, uh, three of them I managed to do roughly within a couple of months of each other. However, the fourth part meant you had to find this uh, special weapon and it basically never dropped for me. Uh, all the time I was kind of searching for it on and off, obviously when I first started doing it I was a lot more keen to trying to find it, but eventually I kind of gave up a bit. Um, not long ago the add-on came out for Guild Wars 2. Uh, this allowed you to actually craft the missing item, um, so you could actually finally complete it. Uh, again, this was uh, another a kind of uh, collection sort of quest. Uh, it involved three stages, but however, it meant I could finally finish off creating my legendary Bill Frost. Um, like I said I have actually recorded the uh, stages of actually completing it, so I'm going to take you through it and show you the stage I went through to create it all. So guys, on the 9th of July I finished creating the Gift of Biofrost. Uh, this involves 100 icy load stones, a signal of novocation, gift of colour and a gift of energy. Uh, I think if I remember, the kind of most expensive bit was probably the icy uh, rune stones, because uh, I think they were one gold each and you need a hundred of them. So. Like I said, I had to change a few things here. Uh, as you notice through the video, you'll see my money will change quite a bit because uh, obviously over the year and a half, you will earn quite a bit of money. So now I've just got, what have I got, color. Gift of color. So at the moment, I'm gonna just need a hundred of these, which I haven't quite got. So I'm gonna just probably buy some. So, probably going to need 60 odd so, 60, uh, 68 I think, which is going to cost me uh, four, four and a half gold roughly. So if we go and pick them up, All shiny. so we should have enough for the gift of colour. So we got the other bit down here, um, got our dice. Replenishing. So then we've got the rune, we've got our icy lodestones, icy rune stones, and our gift of energy. So now we can take these four parts and put them in the Mystic Toilet, <laughs> which should then create our gift of Bill Frost, which will be the first part of our legendary. So let's move on to our second part, which is the Gift of Mastery, which I created on the 18th of June 2014. For this you will need uh, one Bloodstone Shard, 250 Obsidian Shards, which you have to buy with Karma, uh, a Gift of Exploration, which needs you to map 100%, and a Gift of Battle, which I think you get in World vs. Player, World vs. World, or Player vs. Player. So on the 13th of July 2014 I created my Gift of Might. Uh, this is part of the next uh, unit I needed. 
Uh, I did it in parts because each one of these things require a stack of T6 materials and then they were pretty expensive. So like I said to create each one it needed 250 of each uh, T6 material. Um, <clears throat> like I said the first one I created was the Gift of Might. So let's just put it in there. So the next couple of days after, on the 15th of July 2014, I created my Gift of Magic. Uh, this is the second part to the Gift of Fortune, which again, like I said, it needs 250 T6 materials. Sweet, sweet loot. Right, so two days later on, on the 17th of July 2014, I created my Gift of Fortune. Uh, like I said, the Gift of Fortune used the Gift of Magic and the Gift of Might, which I just showed earlier. Uh, also with 77 Mystic Clovers and another stack of Ectoplasm. So then finally I've created the third part to my legendary weapon. So after a lot of time, about a year and a half, uh, finally I created the first part of the precursor. Um, like I said, this was only due because of the add-on. Um, like I said, I could I spent ages looking for the precursor and eventually more or less gave up trying to find it. I didn't simply want to give somebody the money for it, even though in the uh, year and a half's time I actually did build up enough money to buy the precursor. So, uh, like I said, however, the precursor to actually make it still required three stages. Uh, like I said, this is just the first stage. Uh, for some reason, I've actually uh, deleted the second stage, so I can't show you that. However, I have actually recorded the third part. So, guys, you can't blame me too much because I've managed to keep these videos from a year and a half ago. It's just that I, for some reason, accidentally deleted the wrong file. Um, luckily, it wasn't anything too major. Uh, like I said, this is just finishing off stage one. Uh, the whole precursor crafting took me roughly a couple of weeks to do. So, all in all, it wasn't too bad, but it did require a lot of materials, which I will explain later. So, anyway, I've just finished off showing you the first stage of creating the precursor.
mine. All mine. So uh, roughly about 10 days later I actually was uh, finishing my third stage of the precursor. Um, like I said it took quite a while. Um, the third stage it wasn't too bad. Uh, it required you to get these paints mixed um, which wasn't too bad. And then once you've got the paints done you actually had to go to an advantage point and use the paint with a paintbrush and a canvas. Uh, the next thing was was this uh, jade thing, uh, reflecting things, uh, especially the golem I had a hell of a lot of troubles getting him uh, he, because he would only materialise at set times and when he materialised often he'd get killed pretty quick. I think I was kind of lucky with this crystal one because I managed to get it pretty easy with the um, shatterer. Basically I just stood between his legs and he encased me. Uh, I read somewhere else when I had a head of trouble with this, but for some reason I didn't. But I had a lot of problems with the Golem Knight. So with all that done, we can actually get the third bit underway, uh, which will require uh, another recipe. I uh, don't think the third stage is particularly too bad on things like wood. Uh, the second stage was a nightmare for wood. Um, eventually I did give up a little bit with the collection of wood and just bought some. Uh, even though it wasn't exactly ideal. But So let's have a look. Where is it? Um, so that's the precursor. We've just got these two parts to finish which are the carved beam and the teardrop and it looks like I'm going to have to just find these um, tools which I haven't got at the moment thought I did actually have these materials um, okay maybe um, this uh, bloke around here is gone because he's usually got a load of stuff mm, I'm not too seeing it Yeah, I'm guessing it's. I'm gonna have to look this bit up and see where these uh, tools are. I am guessing this bloke hasn't got them. He's usually got a lot of the other crafting materials. I can't see it being in these lots. No. Anyway, I'm gonna have to look it up and see where that uh, of them tools are. So guys, uh, I had to break off and have a look for where these tools were. I did find out eventually they were in beta uh, turn and you have to talk to this blokey and get two. Uh, they're not that expensive, we only require 9,000 um, karma points. It's just basically uh, I didn't know where they were. Like I said, I kind of thought I was going to finish the uh, precursor then on the previous video. But, like I said, that put a bit of a spanner in the works for me. So this time I should have all the items to finally create the precursor. Which I have noticed in the previous days now has actually gone up quite a lot now. Um, I remember I think it dropped to one point at about 900 gold. Uh, which is still not cheap, but I think it's gone up to about 1,002 now. So uh, let's see if we can actually finish making the precursor, which is the legend. Which is the one there. So we need these two parts still. 
So we can create this one. Then the carved beam. And finally, it looks like we've got all the parts for the legend precursor. So let's come craft it. After a year and a half, let's actually finally get the legendary precursor. Finally. Uh, just notice on the right, it says that it's uh, unlocked the legend. Oh, I suppose that's the uh, skin. I think. Oh, we seem to have got a little message from uh, the Craftsman Loki. Just saying well done, basically, I think. So finally we got the fourth part to the Precursor. That's uh, the fourth part to the Legendary. As you can see, it's quite expensive at the moment. So what we need to do, since we've got our final fourth part, is to gather our three other parts. Uh, let's just tell everybody in the guild. So if we get any sort of congrats messages, which you usually do. Hey, there's one. Yeah, I wrote it took me two years after, like I said, of creating this video. I realised it was about a year and a half, but it's still quite a long time for finding an item in the game. So what we need to do is to finally actually make the legendary, which is going to be a bit strange because you're going to have to chuck it in the toilet and such. Uh, it's basically what I call this thing because you never actually find anything. So here's our fourth bits. The precursor and the three other bits. And there we go. We finally created the legendary. Um, did notice on the right it said like, the skin has been unlocked, but well, I don't think that's kind of the case because it's. Uh, if you look at it, it still says that. But how much is it worth? Oof, that's worth quite a bit. I did think at this stage whether I was going to actually just sell the uh, legendary, but I kind of thought, well, after all the work I've put in to actually find it and to finally get hold of it, I thought, well, no, I'm going to actually keep this. We do the best we can. Um. So. These are the three parts. Like I said, the first part wasn't too bad. It was basically uh, dropping some materials at certain places on the map. Uh, they weren't exactly explain where to put them, um, but generally they weren't too bad. So then finally on to the second stage, which was a bit of a nightmare. It required a lot, a lot of wood. Um, basically, you had to keep mining these trees for absolutely ages. Uh, the big problem was to do with this basic uh, elder staff because the blokey asked for 250 of them and each uh, kind of staff needs six uh, bits of elder wood. So as you can imagine it's a hell of a lot of wood. Um, again like I said all these other parts need more wood. But like I said after quite a bit of time I managed to finally create that. And then on to the third part, which was, like I said earlier, which was to do these paints. Uh, I didn't find the paints too bad, apart from a couple of them, like the coral one was a bit annoying. Um, but using a couple of characters, it wasn't so bad. This uh, jade mould thing lens is where you get from the fractals. And then once you've got it, you've got to take some uh, jade crystals with you. And you can, as soon as you get attacked with like a laser beam of certain monsters, you double click it and suddenly you um, get the award for it or achievement or whatever. And do that quite a few times. Uh, you do have to check to make sure that some of them want slightly different items to be activated. There is uh, one spot in um, one of the maps where there's a big light ball and you can get quite a few of them there. Anyway, so that's it guys. That's uh, finally creating the legendary Bill Frost after a year and a half. Like I said, the biggest problem was basically the precursor. 
Um, building the precursor means uh, you can only do it once. Uh, you can't do it multiple times because simply you've unlocked it now. Um, you can sell the precursor if you want separately. Uh, get, or you can sell the legendary itself. Um, like I said, you probably after the amount of work you've spent to get in it, you probably want to keep them. So anyway guys, that's uh, me building the Billfrost. Take care and have fun. In over two dozen exotic weapons. It made me realize that Zamoros has probably collected an impressive arsenal by now. Somewhere in there, he's armed to the teeth with vials of blood and bottles of alone wine.